If you want to maximize funnel conversions and profitability, you need to know where your leads are coming from and how much they're worth. You also need to know where your funnel is breaking down and where people are dropping off and not converting. In this video, I'm going to show you a new tool that not only lets you map and simulate your funnels, but also shows you the data in real time so you can see what's actually working. I'm super excited for this video. Let's jump right into it. Welcome. My name is Kevin and on this channel, I show you the best tools you can use to start and grow an online business. If you want to maximize your leads and earnings, then you have to know how every component in your funnel is performing. This way you can do more of what's working and fix the pieces that aren't as optimal. Now, this isn't revolutionary news to anyone, but in the past, it's been really hard to do this with tools like Google Analytics and trying to make that work with your shopping cart software and your landing pages, and then trying to get that to talk to each other. You're doing all of this manual tagging. And even then you couldn't even capture all of the data because Google analytics, for example, doesn't talk about individual contacts. It's on an aggregate level. It's anonymous data. What I basically mean is you could never truly be confident. Even if you had some tracking that if you put a dollar into an ad that a certain campaign or funnel is bringing you two, three, four or five times the return, or if it's just burning cash. Well, Kartra has a brand new tool that's going to let you see exactly this in real time. If you're not familiar, with Kartra, it's the one tool I use to run my entire business. It gives you absolutely everything you need to make sales online. I'm talking about landing pages, email, webinars, surveys, forms, help desk, calendar, membership sites or online courses, basically everything. And now with Kartra, you're not only able to map and simulate these funnels, but actually see what's working in real time. So let's jump right into it and I'll show you how it all works. Real quick before I do, if you want to follow along and you haven't signed up for Kartra yet, click the link in the description below and you'll be able to get a 30 day free trial of Kartra and 20% off any plan. Okay, so here we are in the Kartra backend and to get started with our funnels, we click on funnels. And now Kartra has three distinct funnel functionalities. Firstly, you can map your funnels. And so that's going to let you strategically plan out what the components will be in your funnel. And it's really helpful when you're trying to think through everything you'll need to build. And if it really makes sense, then you can actually simulate your funnel. And this is the next stage up. And so what that lets you do, and I'm going to show you how all of these works, but I just want to explain it first. So simulating your funnel is going to let you add mock data to kind of see different scenarios. If you're your funnel actually makes sense and makes money. You can simulate how much you're going to spend on ads and then how much you might make in the conversion rates. And you can see if at least theoretically your funnel makes sense. And finally, and the most powerful feature is to actually analyze the data that's actually going into that funnel and see if you actually are profitable. And so each of these features build on top of each other. And to get started, all you have to do is hit funnel. Then you can name your funnel and let's call it example funnel, funnel one, you can add a description of course, and it really couldn't be any easier to build a funnel. You just go to assets and you can drag in say a landing page or a squeeze page, and then you can either use an existing page in Kartra. Cause like I said, Kartra not only lets you map this stuff, it actually lets you build it all. And so you can choose something that already exists, or you can use a placeholder if you haven't built it yet and you're just planning. And so it's really that easy. You can add traffic and you can then name that traffic and you can do it. Now I actually have have a full tutorial on how to create these funnels and I'll link that video down below. That's why I'm not taking a lot of time here. I don't want this video to be super long. So if you want to know how to build these funnels and get that first step done, check the link in the description for that video first. But for the sake of time here, I want to show you a funnel I've already built. So here's a funnel that I've built and you can see how complex it could get. And this isn't even the most complex funnel. I'd say this is probably around average. You can see here, there's some traffic. It's going to my free masterclass and there's an upsell. There's a first upsell offer and then a second. And then you can see that there's a purchase option and some people will purchase, some won't. There's also some emails and this is just a mapped out version of this funnel. And so that's the first stage. Then you can actually simulate this funnel and the video down below covers the builder and the simulator uh, a lot more. 
and today's video I'm really want to focus on the newest feature which is the real-time data but I'm just showing you so uh, you have some context and what you can do here is you can then estimate your traffic and say okay if I got a hundred visitors a day and it cost me a dollar a click on TikTok or YouTube and then it'll actually just run those numbers and you could say well okay here I think I'll get a 30% conversion rate and so on and so forth and so it would simulate for you how much ROI you could get and then you'd have to see what kind of click rates you would need for this to make sense. So for example, if you did the math and you're like, all right, if I got up to a dollar a click on TikTok with these kind of conversion rates, it could make sense. And then, you know, at the start of your funnel, if you're seeing you're getting $3 a click and your conversion rates are lower and so on and so forth, you could see how your math doesn't work and you're actually not profitable. Or if you are way more profitable and you're like, shoot, I can actually pay more for a click because I'm still profitable, which is a great place to be in. So you can see there and you can assign each of the conversion rates for all of these interactions and you'll be able to get an ROI. And so those are the two features that um, were previously available and they're amazing features. And finally now, this is a brand new funnel. I wanna first say, uh, so I actually haven't ran my promo for it yet, but this is really some light organic from some selected places I've put it. Okay, so once you click analytics, then you'll actually see the real time data for this funnel. You can see right here what the data is. You can set the date range you wanna look at, but you can see, for example, example, how many people have actually hit this page this is the first part of my funnel. You can see there has been some YouTube ads. Then you can also see what organics have come through. And so you'll see it says missing sources here. So what best practice here would be, and uh, I just added this here, is to tag your traffic sources with a UTM parameter. If you're not familiar with UTMs, it's, it's a little bit more advanced, but basically you can append your URLs with UTM parameters. Google even has a free tool of how to do that. But basically your URL would be like this and it would say channel equals and something like this, right? I, I won't get right into it, but basically you want to tag your traffic and that is what's going to let you see the traffic sources show up correctly here. But you actually don't even need this part to be honest with you. You could even delete this part. This part's good for the simulator because whether you do that part or not, the system is going to know where your traffic came from. And so you can see that right there that I didn't even tag any of this and I know it came from YouTube. I know it came from YouTube ads and so on. So this part is really good if you want the traffic you're driving and you want it to add that stage to the simulator, but it's not really needed. It's more needed for the builder in the simulator, but nonetheless, it's there. And in case you were wondering why it says missing, I don't really bother to tag that because sometimes you don't actually know all the possible traffic sources it's coming from. So trying to UTM tag everything is can be challenging. But if you only have like, say one source, say you're like, I'm only running YouTube ads our TikTok ads or Facebook ads, and basically that's gonna be the only way someone ever finds this landing page, then I think it's a good thing to do because then you get that complete picture. But if you have a lot of sources like I do, then it's not as important to tag it. But nonetheless, here you can actually see how many people have hit it and you can see the conversion rate there and how many people opted in and how many people flowed through this actually, and then so on and so forth. And so when I say flowing through it, you can actually see how people are actually moving through your funnel so you can see like okay this is a 19% conversion rate and for a free asset maybe it's not too bad and you can see the click-through rates you can see things are flowing through well but you can see then hey look it's dropping off here so how can I do something to make this more enticing and so that is where the power really comes from it's being able to see where things are breaking down and what would really be needed and again this is a funnel I just started running and I'll probably update it once I have more data from running some ads and running more traffic sources to it. So I'll probably do a quick version of this video with some more battle tested data. But what you're gonna see in the end is basically the same as this simulation where you're gonna get a, some final outputs as to what the ROI is in your funnel. And so if you are spending any amount of real money on ads especially, or even just your organic efforts, you wanna make sure that you you're getting the ROI that your efforts deserve and your money deserves. And so being able to see the data in real time here is super powerful. Now, one last quick note, if part of your funnel actually has external pages, so all of this stuff is built in Kartra, but if part of your funnel has like a landing page or something else that's completely outside of Kartra,
Kartra and you don't have any Kartra elements on it, then you just have to add this tracking code to those landing pages. If you have like a Kartra form or something on it, then it's actually included in it. So you don't have to, but that's just a quick note here. Just throw this JavaScript snippet into your page builder. Now, if you're super excited about this and you want to try it out again, click the link in the description below and you'll be taken to this page. This is actually a special offer for viewers of my videos, my audience, which is you, you can see here is Solopreneur Branded. I'm actually one of the top Kartra partners and they made this special offer for you. So you get a 30 day free trial and 20% off your first plan payment. And so hopping over here, you can actually see the discounted plans. Now here's the thing. You get the mapper in the first plan, the simulator in the growth plan and the real time analytics in the professional plan, which of course is the most expensive plan. And so you can actually get 20% off and you're seeing that blue number right there. That's the discount. So just enter the promo code and you can get 20% off. Now, if you actually do an annual plan, you get 20% off your first payment, but that's the entire year. So actually in this case, you're getting 12 months at 20% off. So that's where you can save a little more because yes, this is a little bit pricey and the cheapest you can get it for is 343. And you can see you're saving a thousand dollars. The other thing is you also have a 30 day money back guarantee. So even if you try this out and you want to get your money back and you do the annual plan to lock in the discount, then you can still get your money back without committing to that. And real quick, you can see funnel mapping is in this plan. Simulation is in this plan and real-time analytics is in this plan. And now I want to give you some advice as to where I think you should start based on where you are. If you're just getting started with funnels, you can get a lot of traction with just mapping and simulating your funnels. Now this plan is for someone who's not just getting started. You likely have a business already. You are making sales and you could be spending hundreds, if not thousands of dollars a month as it is on ads. And so in that perspective, let's say you're spending two, three, four, five, or even more K on ads, spending an additional 300 ish dollars to make sure that your ad ROI is way higher is a no brainer. So I think it all is a perspective thing here where you fall into it. Like you can see here, of course, I, I am on the professional plan. So again, it just depends where you are in your business, but the mapper, the simulator and the funnel analytics, all are great tools that'll help you regardless of where you are in your business stage. At the end of the day, the old saying goes, what gets measured gets managed and the better you're able to measure your investments at the time you spend then that is how you're going to be able to better control your success. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. Also consider subscribing to the channel. I have a lot more Kartra and other tool and growth and strategy tutorial videos. And as I mentioned, I'll link that funnel builder video down below. That's a bit more on the mapping and simulation side and much more in depth. And I also have tons of other Kartra videos on the channel. So check it out if you want to learn more about Kartra. Now head on over to the Solopreneur channel and I'll see you in that next video. Take care.